floor. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. Worsening human rights situation in Balochistan requires immediate attention of the HRC. Enforced disappearances and custodial killings of Baloch political activists by Pakistani security forces have intensified in the last several weeks. Military operations against civilian populace have been stepped up. Deda Bukti and Nasirabad areas have been under continuous siege and attacks by Pakistani forces for weeks. Gunship helicopters were used against civil populace, resulting in killing of more than 100 Baloch civilians, including women and children. 26, uh, 260 people, mostly women, have been abducted during the operation since 13 August. A mass grave was discovered in Sui area where 12 dead bodies of previously abducted Baloch civilians were found. On 6 September, Pakistani forces besieged the house of a Baloch political activist in Turbat and continued the siege for seven days, forcing the women and children inside the house to starve. Uh, forces finally ended the siege but only after abducting the activist's wife along with her two infants. We have reported 650 cases of uh, enforced disappearances and 230 cases of extrajudicial murders in Balochistan since January. Pakistani forces claim to have arrested more than 13,000 Baloch uh, from Balochistan since 2015, but not a single case was brought in any court of law. This further exposes the impunity with which the Pakistani forces operate and carry out a systematic genocide in pa Balochistan. Balochistan is facing a complete blackout by the Pakistani media which keeps the international community in dark about the situation on ground. We welcome the statement by Indian PM and permanent mission of India to highlight Pakistani atrocities in Balochistan and hope member states of this council will follow the suit. We call on this council to take immediate measures to stop the systematic genocide of Baloch people by the Pakistani state. I thank you Mr. Vice President.